Um, like, it hasn't really sunk in, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just very grounded. Like, it's just, like, yeah, it hasn't sunk in. Like, normally I'm bawling my eyes out, <laughs> but I am absolutely exhausted. I haven't slept since the weigh-in, like, the morning of the fight. I've had it, like, on and off on the plane, so I'm, I'm quite... Like, I, I feel like death warmed up probably. And what was it like meeting your family? Brilliant to see them all. Like, they're all bawling their eyes out, you know, like, because they know, they know what I've done to, to mm -hmm. get here, like, and what I've sacrificed, and the highs and the lows, and the journey. And it's, no one's journey is easy, you know, it's not just my, like, I don't want to say, oh, my journey is this and that, but nobody's journey is easy, but they know what my journey was, like, you know, and for them to see me, reaping the rewards of my hard work and of my determination and willpower of not giving up when many other people would have for them to see that today that's you know special and kelly i was on portland road for your fight i didn't know what to expect when i pulled up it was 5 20 a.m and they were playing akuna matata across the road with speakers people are getting akuna matata tattooed and everything onto them it's people are making songs up and all about me and poems and it's just it's just like I just like it's mad. I can't believe it. Like it's just it's, like I I don't know. I never thought I'd be. I never thought I'd be in this position. Like you know, like it's just like it's just it's just unimaginable. Like what's the first thing you do when you get home? Um, sit down on my couch. Well, I'll see my dogs first. I can't wait to yeah. see my dogs. Like uh, Nid and Macy. Like they're just. I can't. I don't know whether they're gonna recognise me or what. Like it's been that long. I feel like I've been gone forever. But um, yeah, see the dogs and then sit down and get a cup of tea and some biscuits or cakes or something like and just chill out like that's what i'm really looking forward yeah. to like and normally people are looking forward to like like letting the hair down and stuff but i just want i i just feel so exhausted i just want to sit on the couch and just it'll be hard to get away from the celebrations now <laughs> Um, look, I can't wait to get into the, into where I'm from, into my community. Like that's a different kettle of fish altogether. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, I can, I just, I'm really looking forward to that. Like that's just gonna be epic. I'm just looking forward to it. They, so pay, they painted the gold for you, innit? Brilliant. Like it's, I've never seen a gold post box in my life, so <laughs> I no, can't wait to get up to Summer Hill now to see that. Like so. And obviously the sport in Portland Road has been amazing here today. You can see it, but the whole country really has got behind it. It's just amazing to see. I like, even somebody showed me the, uh, Jackie showed me a video of the morning of the fight, you know, like, and yeah. I genuinely, because like it was on at six o'clock or something, yeah, I can't remember, like, like I genuinely thought people would have been in bed and then got up and just, you know, got the result and then watched it or something, you know, but like then when I seen that video, I was like, oh my God, this is, not what I, this is not what I expected at all, like at all, you know, like, but my community is fantastic and I've been saying it all, like I've been saying it since any time I've got a chance to get into the, into the papers or onto the telly or anything mm -hmm. like that, you know, and people are only saying now, oh, your community is great. But I've already said that over and over yeah. again, like, so I'm just, I'm glad now they're, they're, they're realising I'm not lying. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling the truth. My community is great and we do all back each other all the time, you know, like, mm -hmm. highs, lows, whatever, we're always there for each other, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, we're there. I met a few girls, um, they were 11 and 12 years of age on Portland Road that morning and they told me that they're inspired now and they're going to work even harder. One wanted to be a boxer, one wanted to be a dancer, but they were so inspired by what you've done. I actually, I heard a... Uh, I think seconds uh, captain had it up on uh, a little video up and I heard one of the girls saying like um, that they were inspired that basically they know if they want something and they, they work hard it. for it that they can get it like they can do mm -hmm. it they can they can accomplish that and to me like that's gold medal material do you know what I mean that is what this is about like that's about inspiring someone not just about inspiring someone to go on and become an Irish boxing champion or an Olympic champion, but about inspiring the next generation, my generation, any generation, if they want something and they really, really want it, that with hard work, determination and willpower will get you. And if you don't get it, at least you've, you've given everything to try your best to get it. That touched me today. That, I was emotional when I when I heard those kids this yeah, morning. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you've already, you've already got the freedom of the inner city. What about the freedom of Dublin city that people are talking about? Maybe we should be given that. I don't really know what the what the freedom of Dublin City means because I don't have any sheep, so I won't be uh, I won't be up uh, what is it, sharing sheep on Stevens's green on Stevens Green. So uh, I don't know, like unless it means that I can go in bus lanes and all, then it's great. But I don't know whether it means that now. But should I? free parking. Free parking. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. 
uh, pro or what's the story? I don't know yet. I don't know. Like I'm only, I'm only just got out of the ring nearly late, so I don't know what what the future is going to hold. I just have to uh, I have to assess every situation possible and see what's right. Um, I'm 31 now and see whatever, see where the money maker is really. You know, like um, and then we'll go from there. You, you talked about the Lion King. Why is the Lion King something so special to you? And who would play you in a movie? <laughs> Um, I love the Lion King. I always watched the Lion King, and then through, uh, out there before every time before I left me the apartment out there to go down, I was listening to the Lion King. <laughs> um, I think the team mates thought I was gone off my head because I had Disney playing. Normally, people have like something pumping and stuff, but I had Disney playing. But um, I don't know, like. I just felt like I was going to be a mighty king one day and that's what, like, you know, so here we are and yeah, and it means no worries like, <laughs> for the rest of your days, like what's worrying going to do, so exactly. worrying is not going to get you anywhere is it, you just got to go with the flow, so.